This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hi everybody, welcome to another Rob Looks At. I was, I, I needed a paint and I never really go to my local game store and we have one here in, um, uh, in Florida and it's called Breakout Games, I believe it is. So I stopped in there and I needed a paint, so I picked up the paint, but I also saw that they had like a 50% off table. So I just decided to stroll over there for no reason, see if there was just anything that was of interest to me. Well, I found something that I never seen or knew anything about, and that's Frontiers, Liberty or Death. Is it any good? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's go down to the table and take a look at this, as we're just gonna take a look. All right, so we're going to take a look inside this Frontiers. And for me, this was quite a fine. There's a bunch of cards that you're going to get, and what they're going to do is going to give you special and different abilities. You're going to get this huge map. And, yeah, we're just going to put this out here. It's a paper map. It's nothing too fantastic. The nice thing about it is that you can add things to it to give it a little flavor. The rule book here, uh, really, uh, really nicely done, uh, explains everything in detail. There's not a lot of rules to this, okay? Everything is explained, and then um, it shows you how to deal with cover and, and shooting phase and so forth and so on, and some of the abilities that you're going to find on each of the counters. Uh, as you see right here and then just some scenarios that you can create and do yourself now the way this works it's actually pretty good and let's just show you some of the the counters and stuff like that and uh, this here is not well it's not supposed to be inches but as a matter of fact it, it is in inches but this is how you're going to measure range each of these units and I'm going to show you uh, a unit and as you can see these are the legionnaire now this top number number is when you're firing on heavy armor okay this is a bonus when you, you are firing on structures as you can see it's zero and this is a bonus when you are firing on body armor meaning another unit these are abilities on each side uh, your movement is in blue so you can move two of these, uh, oh, they don't call them inches. I forgot what they call them. <laughs> they call them CPs or something like that. But you can actually move uh, that much. Uh, and then the cost of it, as you can see. And once it gets hit, sometimes, uh, you know, it can take two hits. And as you can see, if it gets hit again with that symbol uh, face up, that means it's pulled from the game. Um, there's some really big walker tanks, uh, explosions. These tanks can take hits in certain areas, but if it ever takes a hit in, in the same area twice, it's gone. So I just want to show you some of these units. Um, as you can see, uh, you get a ton of units, a ton of measuring tools. But the neat thing is, is that you get a ton of scenery. And you can see you get these bigger units, these bigger units, the Vega tanks. And you're going to be playing with um, um, army points. And anywhere from 100 to 300 to three, um, 100 to 300 to 300 to 500. Now, everything's broken down into phases. There's a preparation phase. There's an order phase. Now, the order phase is depending on how many how many points you are playing with. If your army has anywhere from one to 500 army points, you're gonna get two orders. So you may have like 10 units on, on the thing, but you are only gonna dish out two orders. You're also gonna be given some dummy orders. And uh, let's see if we can just uh, show you real quick uh, some of the numbers here. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, everything is numbered. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. One to ten, but you're also given dummy orders. So you may have two orders, and to try to trick somebody up, you'll lay your two orders plus two dummy orders, and that may trip trip them up. If you're playing 500 to 1,000 
points, you're going to get four orders, and depending what units you have, they may give you a an additional order. So you'll be able to use those orders throughout. So a, a really nice little find for uh, under ten bucks, and um, I, I think this is a nice little beginner game that you can you can. Uh, play with. Uh, I've read the rules three or four times. I'm going to give it a go and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts on it. But I wanted to show you this because it just comes with so much terrain and and buildings and and and, and things that, that you can really use and, and, and maybe have a pretty good time with this. I You know, I, I, I think this is something that might have been overlooked. It doesn't, you know, everything seems to work pretty well. The mechanics seem to work well. But uh, there's only one way to find out, and that's to get it to the table and try it. Uh, one other thing I did not tell you is shooting. Once you have uh, those bonuses, you're going to roll a d6. And um, one of the numbers, and let me just pull out another unit so I can show you. So let's just say, for instance, <laughs> this unit this unit of legionnaires was firing on these missile launchers even though they're on the same side it doesn't matter now their body uh, they get plus plus two uh, the legionnaires get plus two firing on the missile launchers their defense is six okay so what's going to happen is you're going to take add that bonus plus two roll you roll a six that's two that beats the six and then you're going to apply a, room, a wound and then flip that over so that's that. That's how simple combat is. It gets a little varied with with. Uh, there's minuses and things like that for range and things like that, or or any kind of buildings that that you saw that we were we were showing you. But it's definitely something that has my interest, and I think uh, it'll be a, a lot of fun and quick, and that's that's always good. All right, let's take it up top and get my final thoughts. You know, I saw this, and of course, the girls uh, wanted to run into another store, so I opened it up, and I read it, and then I read it again, because they take forever, so me and the dogs are sitting there, and I started going through and looking at all the pieces and things like that, and how things work, and I thought, wow, I just picked up a pretty decent game for under 10 bucks. Now, I've yet, I, I've got to get this to the table, see what is quirky about it, but I wanted to show this to you because if you have the means to get it, it might be something that's interesting to you. I mean, I, I picked it up. I don't know what it retails for. Uh, let me find out here. Of course, it doesn't say here. It doesn't have a MSRP on it, but um, uh, I got it for 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Okay, and um, I thought, well, this is interesting. Let's take a look at it. I like little miniature games with shits and stuff like that. This might be something that's worth it. And it really seems, it's very basic, very simple. It has that Heroes of Normandy feel, which I, I kind of liked. And um, it, it, it kind of fits on, on how all the chits are. And... Um, it, it, it works from what I've seen. You know, I, I compared numbers and would roll dice and I go, oh, well, that was interesting. That's not strong enough to take that out and so forth and so on. We're going to give it a go and then we're going to give you a, an answer on it and you can maybe watch it. Maybe we'll tape it. Maybe we'll do it live. But um, an interesting little game. If you have the means and it's cheap enough, go out and get it. I, I, I think it, I really feel in my heart that it's worth it. Until next time, it is your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.